what I like most in Mardin is um, the heterogeneous cultural structure. The city is an old medieval city with its architecture, very specific architecture, as well a um, mix of communities of Kurds and Arabs and uh, Assasarian. So there's a mixture of uh, different kind of communities and a lot of different kind of religious practices. I wouldn't say that it's a peaceful city. Uh, there's a lot of antagonism among the communities, but I think this is what makes the public space itself. So I find this important. There are several concerns. Firstly, the ongoing urban warfare, state control and violence in the city, the refugee hood policy. The city of Mardin is near to Syrian border. There are many refugee camps around the city and the migration and refugee hood affecting the city and the camps are new forms of spaces. This kind of reality is, our concern, is, is my concern for the city. I think I'm more interested with the practices, whatever the medium is, um, how artists are dealing with the um, problems and uh, issues in urgent urban cases right now. And also how those artistic practices are uh, creating new methodologies of knowledge production. I'm not so much interested to represent an artist or represent an artistic practice um, in an exhibition format. I think there are many other formats that uh, can be curatorial uh, produced in a collective way that uh, can create a kind of a moving and uh, becoming representation that uh, gets always a new forms and new methodologies. Globally in the world, we are mainly speaking about similar problems in urban space and public space. Therefore, I think finding the similarities between the cities in Octopolis with our colleagues and also uh, defining the differences is important.